So, with 90 science, let's see what I might be able to get soon. Some monopropellant tanks might be good. The larger tanks, interesting. Smaller engines, the large engine. Nothing too exciting right now. Some more probe cores might be good. This electrics might be nice. Extra relay antenna, more science. Fuel cell generator. Storage technology I don't know how to use yet. Okay. Um, let's see. This one's still going on. This one we'd trying, just have not been able to, to do it. That explore the month, that's going to be for the weekend. This we need to wait for. Plant a flag in the month, that needs to be for the weekend. Um... Oh, we can do this one. Rescue a new Kerbin. That's uh, that's something we actually want. Yep. Uh, building an orbital station might be cool, but we need some more signs for that. You want another rover on Minmus? This might be interesting to do. Just uh, do expeditious travel and put it somewhere else. It's an easy way to get some cash out of it. Let's, uh, let's do that one as well. I want to upgrade this. There we go. Just to get more contracts. Because, um, build a station route Kerbin. I want to get that one. As well as deploy a new rover on Minus. I want to get that one as well. And see about these other survey missions. Hey, Blue. Got a bone to pick with me. What is that? Yeah, Blue in the Warpath. I don't know. I was uh, enjoying your stream earlier today. Even though the... Well, oh, that's Selena's. Even though there was a little bit of an issue with the audio there. It was, um, it was hard to hear you, actually, sometimes. But I was enjoying lurking in most of that stream. You actually fixed it later on. Don't worry. When, it was, uh, when you were doing the um, painting, it was a little bit tricky. But then when you switched to Overwatch, that worked out. Okay, the Minmus Debris. Okay, this thing is getting ready to be destroyed. Let's just destroy it right now, because that'll be... Okay. That Minmus Debris we can destroy here. Okay. I have no idea which of these things ended up in orbit of the sun. I think that's... I think that's just an error. I was in your stream, yeah. Your chat was broken and no one told you. What do you mean your chat was broken? I didn't notice that. When was your chat broken? Okay. Let us drive this little beauty. Over to that to complete this little mission here. Um... And I think that will probably be where we call it today. It's been a day of many failures. Um, Jebediah died. Um, we had to get some new Kerbals. Oh, wait, no, we do have to get the other Kerbal out of orbit still. But yeah, Jebediah died in an experimental plane, which um, certainly wasn't the nicest of things. We tried to get a space plane several times, but... Most of our designs just did not work out. Collect signs at one. Okay. Um, let's get some signs. Log some temperature. Oh, you want three different bits of signs. Let's log a radiation. Let's make data. And um, let's do a pressure scan. There we go. That is an easy mission completed. Thank you for the free cash for doing exactly what I'd already done. Put on the brakes. Space Center.
Then a whole creative stream people typing, you didn't see anyone text? Oh no, chat in your end was blank. That is terrible, because I, I could see some people chatting, and indeed, I was in there, and I couldn't hear you that well, because your, your mic was very low, but I saw people in chat going, Hey, Blue, your mic is low, I can't hear you. So I was like, okay, she'll be on it. Good. So that explains why that wasn't working out. Okay, now, we need to rescue a Kerbal in orbit. It's orbiting the usual direction, okay. And, um, we can just, we could either use our normal rescue thing, or we can make a bigger one. But I think our old rescue one was just fine. You're so sad and embarrassed. Ah, oh, not at all, Blue. Look, this happens to all of us. I think the people in chat can let you know that, um... I think there were a couple of streams where I was talking, just kindly chatting to people, talking away, and then after a little while somebody goes, uh, y your mic is muted. It's like, damn it! What is up with this? Whoa, 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 what is all with all the bleepings? Oh, okay, okay. Okay, with a gear, extend those, rotate clockwise and turn those lights on. I'm just updating this a little bit, we don't need this science anymore. It has some lovely RCS, uh, remote control, it's a pod that we can bring back, good, 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 good. Purple Retriever. I believe this is good enough to get somebody out of space. Let's make sure that the person who snuck in there, Jeff D uh, Jedvan, doesn't sneak in there. And we get this going. Been for about seven hours with no games out and nobody told me. Ho <laughs> ho! Cha cha! Yes! Isn't that just typical? Because people will log in and then just go, ah, guys, no game audio sound. Whatever, leave. And hardly anybody just goes, hey, uh, Cha Cha, I noticed you uh, didn't have any audio uh, going. What's what's up with that? That as target. Remember the Hearts of Stone audio problems? Couldn't leave the window without um, games are breaking. Oh yeah. God, that was terrible, getting that done at the start. Well, because you're an awesome person? Yep. That is confirmed and uh, definitively true. But yeah, people could not share in the awesomeness. Wow, this thing is not that efficient at all. Okay, hold on. Whoop. I should probably thrust limit those things so I can get a little bit more control at the start. A little bit more sideways rather than all this upward momentum that we're getting. Okay. <coughs> While we're flying up. Just trying to move this as much as I can in a sidewards direction here. Ronald Witcher 3 memories are flooding back. Remember the Pesta? You remember the Pesta? Was that the one where I forgot that we weren't supposed to lead them back to the to the person, but I let them back, even though I'd figured out he was a pesta, and I was like, oh, okay, they're just, they're hooking up, it'll be okay, it'll be fine. And then when I walk away from that house, suddenly he's like, oh, God, oh, God, and I go back like, 
Oh, yeah, right. He's a monster. Yeah, that makes perfect sense that I shouldn't have let him back there. <laughs> yeah, that was, um, that was special. That was special. Hey, look, I'm an equal opportunities witcher. Every now and then the monster just needs their fun. It does make me think about um, playing Witcher 2 again with the Yorveth path, though. I take your decision for making the rest of the game luck. <laughs> yeah, it, it did affect my decision making for the rest of the game. Yup, constantly going, is this guy a monster? Is he gonna just backstab me just the minute my back is turned? Ideally, actually, instead of just um, doing this directly, going up into space, the better way of doing this is waiting for that pod to come by in a reasonable orbit. Uh, as in, it's somewhere here, and then you start launching, because that way you already start meeting up with it. But right now, the best thing I can do is um, try and blast upwards. Play this encounter moment because we have plenty of Delta V available. So all the Delta V that I'm pushing in here, I'm gonna have to push back. Well, that'll be fine. But that's why, uh, if you just wait for this to be here when you um, start taking off, the advantage is maybe even here. More likely here. By the time you get here, this one will also be very close. And then you just overshoot. And then when you hit that orbit again, that's when you start circularizing. But this is fine. We have... Wait, 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 wait. Slash to cancel. Because we need to unveil our masterwork. And hit... There we go. The gears... The lights need to be there so people know that this is an emergency situation. A little warp here. Reason you have an itch to play Bloodborne. Hey, you want to stream some of that in a moment? Because once we uh, collect this Kerbal, I am going to be stopping that str uh, this stream. It might be fun to watch you play some... Um... There we go, target to play some Bloodborne. Let's see, we need way more than a hundred to equalize. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blast off all the... There we go, Delta V we have here. And then separate, because that gets us a better, closer... There we go, closer estimation of how much we need to burn. So, 70... There we go. I'm just winging this a little bit. Since we have so much Delta V, and with the RCS we have, we could even deorbit purely with the RCS. There we go. Now move towards our target. There we go. Fast forward this little bit. Oh yeah, we're now within, um, as you can see, we are within the two kilometer range, which is the physics range. So that's why we're suddenly getting all these messages of, oh hey, this is a ship that doesn't have any resources at all. And then as soon as that's basically done, it's see it resets because at one go it depletes everything and then restores everything because otherwise it would be unfair if as soon as you get into two kilometers 
um, there is suddenly no more resources whatsoever, that would be hideously unfair. There would be basically no way to actually save any Kerbals ever. Okay. We don't need to do this, but we're going to do this because it's fun. Oh, I should have replaced all these... Um, all these RCS nodes that I have. I should have replaced them with um, the better ones that we have that give us more control. Ah, well. Three, two, one. There we go. We are now in perfect sync with the other ship. So let's move on over. And EVA our mechanic, Zelena Kerman. And this is why I gave those lights to that thing. We are on a dark side of Kerman. Fortunately, we can see the moving lights and know where our target is. There we go. Get our own lights up. Oh yeah, that is the magic of Kerbal Lights. Our little alarm light is lighting up the entire planet. It's because it's, of course, not actually that big. There's... I don't know exactly how that works. Maybe Huthor will uh, understand, but... It's basically a scaling trick that they play to make it look like the planet is incredibly huge and, and far away, even though it's... Technically, apparently, physically, it's real close by. And that's why your tiny, tiny little lamp can light up the entire planet. There is a mod that fixes that, Planet Shine. But it's part of the environmental visual enhancements that I've been trying to get working. But I just have the biggest problems doing that. I'm not quite sure why. Okay, so I already said we have enough RCS to even deorbit. We don't need the fuel we have. But the problem is I don't have any forward and backward RCS. That's why I need to de other ones. So we're just going to deorbit traditionally. Get us under 30k. And um, this is enough to get us back to Kerbin. So we will quick save for safety just in case I'm mistaken. And deorbit. There we go. Just in case the game starts playing any weird tricks on us. Sure, why not? Awesome. It's probably just a texture perspective illusion. Yeah, I, th I think so. Hey there, GJ Stacy. Ah, you just caught us at the end of this. Pretty much as soon as we have this Kerbal la safe and landed, that's what I'm going to call it for today. But fortunately, we have Huthor who's going to be playing some Bloodborne that we can watch. People have depth perception because of two eyes, so things really close appear really close. On a 2D screen, depth of perception comes a lot harder. Yeah, makes sense. There we go. Okay, so missions. We have Zelena, who is now part of our program. We have rescued Zelena, so she is super happy. And of course, we haven't landed her yet safely, so mission is not just over yet. And for the rest, make a station, that's definitely for later. Uh, that's still happening. That, for some reason, didn't work out for us. That's going to be in a weekend. That's going to be in a weekend. Uh, that's what, what we're doing right now. That's waiting. That's something we could do in a weekend maybe as well. Just land another rover and Mimus for no reason. You feel better? Ah, uh, that's good to hear. I never like feeling poorly. Although, you know, I've said it before and I'll say it again. 
When it comes to feeling poorly, I prefer to be really, really sick for a couple of days. Like, you know, sick enough of I just want to lay in bed and do nothing and, you know, drink, eat chicken soup and be full on meds and then be over with it. Rather than what you also sometimes get where it's like a week or two weeks of just you're sniffly or a week long of you're tired and just you're, you ache a little bit but you're not exactly sick. You could go and up, get up and move around, but if you do anything more than watch something, you get nauseated. That, that is super annoying. Okay, we're landing this baby. So, not that eventful today, except of course for the death of Jebediah, sadly. But still, I feel we achieved some goals. I feel we did quite well. So next up, um, next up, Huthor, you're going to be streaming some Bloodborne. Once we've landed this thing, that's going to be my goodbye to you. And saying that I will see you on uh, Saturday, as usual, 6 p.m., Amsterdam time, that is, I believe, CET or GMT plus one. Whoop. At which point we will try and land a Kerbal on the Mun, which I believe we should be able to get enough uh, life support for. Recover this vessel and enjoy the fruits of our labor. Perfect. 140 science in total right now. A little bit of science, reasonable amount of cash, and a level one mechanic, whatever that is. 70k, yes. 160, so we still need 20 more science, but that's definitely something we can bring back from the Mun. So maybe we should finish this tree before we start moving more towards these. But yeah, that's um, that's when we start using these larger um, landing cans and command pods to start making something which might resemble the Apollo 11 mission. For the rest, we've done our job here so far. So I'm going to be closing this off today. Quitting to the main menu. And... Stopping this stream where it is dead in its tracks, much like Jebediah. Poor Jebediah. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back uh, in the weekend, as I said, Saturday, 6 p.m. CET. That's GMT plus one or Amsterdam time. Uh, that's going to be our MUN mission, our big, big MUN mission. So uh, definitely tune in for that one. It's going to be a big design challenge to get a lander that is enough to suit our needs, get Kerbals on there, get them all landed, and that's going to be a big one. So I'm hoping I get to have your advice, commentary, and your help in that one. And Fub, thank you for watching. Uh, thank you, all of you, for watching. And I will hope to see you then. And otherwise, right now in um, in Huthor's Bloodborne stream. Thank you so much.